All right. I came down last night after midnight and worked a little bit on my uh, clay here. I changed her hairstyle. I'm giving her a ponytail. I might make it smaller than that. And I put a straw hat in her hand, which would be something that uh, they would have worn to keep the sun off their face. And uh, I figured out a way to make it look like straw, a straw hat by using a tool that I'll talk about in about two seconds. Be right back. Time to play with some clay. Now this is the tool I'm talking about. It's a metal tool and it's got a serrated edge and a curved uh, side and a straight side. Both having the same uh, serrated edges. The curved side I used on the hat because I have the hat curving up towards the uh, crown of the hat because it's I, well, I took it from a photograph I got off of a movie called Open Range. And uh, I'll put the bit, picture up here of that uh, hat. And I'm also going to put up a picture of her wearing a shawl. And that's what I'm going to put around her shoulders as well. All right. I'll be right back when I get started here and uh, we'll see how far I can get today. All right, I'm cut a piece of clay that I put through the uh, pasta machine. And uh, I'm just going to, this is the shawl that she's going to be wearing. And uh, it's going to be going over the arms and down under like that. I'm going to uh, put short fringe on the bottom. It's not leather. It's a uh, knit, knit uh, shawl. And these are the ends of the uh, fabric hanging loose. Okay, I'm putting a cup on her shirt, her blouse. Now I gotta build up a little bit of a puff or extra material for her shirt where it meets the uh, cuff. Okay, I'm going to turn off the camera for a little while and uh, work on the sleeve, get the cameras out of my way so I can see what the heck I'm doing because they're right in my face. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to replicate some kind of frilly stuff on her 
collar that's covering up her neck with the kind of blouse she's wearing. I don't think I'm doing a real good job of it. Her blouse would uh, button up in the back, not the front. Now the area that will be open between the sides of the uh, shawl will have to have wrinkles. And that's what I'm trying to reproduce here. Before I put the shawl on, I gotta have the wrinkles done. Okay, I'm going to work on her hair. Too much. I'm going to put a bundle back here. And it'll all work out. I'll show you why in a second here. I may re redo this hair at some point because I may not like it tomorrow. I'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, I don't like that. All right, I'm starting to muddy up the idea. I'm going to call it quits for tonight. All right, I don't know if I'm happy with her hair. It uh, almost looks like a, another period. And so I'm going to probably change that tomorrow. Uh, well, not tomorrow. Tomorrow's fourth. So when I come back after the fourth, um, uh, I will work on that hair. I even gave her a little brooch that she would wear on her dress. All right, everybody, have a great night. Have a great 4th of July. Have a safe 4th of July. Please, <laughs> don't drink and drive. And uh, if you're lighting off fireworks, be careful. They can come back and bite you. All right. Good night, everybody. Happy 4th of July. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.